Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What Ted Says, and what are four of my favorite numbers? 1099. No, that's not my pin code to my ATM. No, you can't get in my phone, but some of you are gonna get a 1099 and ask yourself, oh my gosh, am I now self-employed and what should I be doing? What can I write off on my business expenses or taxes? This is a question that came from our What Ted Says viewers. And I mean, you know, you don't want to pay as much in taxes. You have to, right? You want to pay as little as you have to when it comes to taxes. And that means getting smart and being accurate and documented about how you write off business expenses on your taxes. Think of tax deductions as doing double duty. These expenses help you run your business like the boss woman or man that you are. And they also save you money on taxes at the same time because when you get a 1099, you're not paying taxes on your gross, you're paying taxes on your net. Making sure you know exactly the types of business expenses that you can write off is key when you file your taxes. And this way, you know what receipts you should hold on to and you know exactly what you spent legitimately and other things that you buried in the business and make sure that you do it the right way. So I've come up with 14 self-employed expenses you can write off. Don't hesitate to claim them if they're legitimate, but the IRS can challenge you. After all, you've worked hard for your money. Let's start with number one. It's advertising and marketing expenses. This can range from your website to if you take ads in the newspaper, to if you do Facebook advertising, to your business cards, and much, much more. The question is, did you spend money to market and advertise in your business? Any books or courses or coaching, anything that could be related that you're reading or you're going to a course on or you're getting coaching that could help your business could be deducted. As a 1099, what's great is health insurance can be de deducted as well. So if you're paying for your own health insurance, this is gonna be really important to know and track those dollars so you can deduct them. Membership fees, what if you join an entrepreneur group or you join a networking group? You need to keep track and document these membership fees. Child care, very, very interesting. You're gonna need to read more about this, but in some cases, you can deduct child care expenses. Yes, that's a fact. Legal and professional expenses, goes without saying, tax, legal, bookkeeping, you should have a bookkeeper. All these are expenses that you can deduct. Your internet bill. It's possible that you can deduct part or all of your internet bill depending upon how much you use the internet for your day-to-day -day business. Most people will write off their entire internet bill. Office supplies. Highly recommend getting an account at a Staples or an Office Max or Office Depot. But all those office supplies, pens, pencils, pads, rulers, you name it, can all be deducted in your business. Now, rent can be a little bit challenging, especially if you're using a home office. Now, if you're paying at a co-working space like a Thrive or a WeWork, of course you can deduct that if it's for your business. When it comes to your home office, you're gonna have to choose if you take the standard home office deduction or you actually use the square foot method. If you do a square foot method, make sure that that office is actually your home office. Obviously, flights and hotels, they're all gonna be written off if they're used for business purposes, as are gas and mileage, right? And you're taking mileage. Every year, the IRS gives you a new number of the cents per mile that you can deduct, but you need to keep copious notes about how much mileage you're driving, who the customers were, in case you get audited. Same goes true for your cell phone bill. And then the last up on here is gonna be retirement plans. So many small business owners make a mistake. They don't know if they should do a SEP, simple 401k plan, pension plan, all things that can be done as a 1099, you need to figure out what's right for you. You know, hopefully these ideas will help you when you get a start to your 1099 and you get some paychecks and you think about what you need to write off. I'd recommend setting up a file in Excel because no matter what you write off, it's super crucial that you actually and accurately keep a track of all your expenses on a consistent basis. Because if you get audited, the IRS is gonna ask for it. So save all your invoices and receipts, put them in a safe place, even if you scan them into your computer, so you can access them when your time comes to file your taxes. As I've shared in other What Ted Says videos, make sure you keep a separation of church and state, separate credit card, separate checkbook, all can help you. And if you liked this video, well, you, you'll love the whole series I put together on how to start up a side hustle. So many people are watching it now because we give them great tips and tricks in order to be able to set up a business. Check it out on What Ted Says right after this video. Make sure that you click the subscribe button. And as always, those episodes will come in every Monday and Thursday. Thanks so much for watching this episode of What Ted Says.